Hi, this is Chong Kim, and welcome to Vim Tips. Today we're going to see how we can uh, invoke Vim from uh, different ways. So, command click iterm2. So if you have iterm2, this is my iterm, and let's say that you run, actually just rspec, and you get an error. And, and specifies the file name and the line number right over here. So it would be really great if you could just press a command click and it launches. So if I do a command click, it launches a MacVim. And the way to set that up is by going to the preferences under profiles, advanced, and you'll see semantic history. So it says here, command click on a file name would launch this program. So you want to open with an editor and you want to choose MacVim. So when you do that, now you have a really good way of just clicking on a file name. And it'll just launch. And right to the line number, line three. Another way that you could launch Vim is when you're using less. So here I am back in my, my terminal. And let's say, for example, I'm looking through a file. And I'm using less to look at this. But if I press V, it launches Vim. If I change the file and exit, now the file has changed, but I'm back in less. All right. You could also use it in pry. So if I'm in pry, I can type edit and put in some Ruby code, okay. and it gives an error. Well, in this case, that's because if I look at my editor variable, it's set to VI. And there's a problem with pry where if you set it to VI, it's not going to work. So if you set the editor to Vim, then it would work. There you see three. So another way you can use Vim is through MySQL. So if you're in MySQL, you could type your regular commands in here, but you have only one line to edit. And it becomes very difficult to edit if you, if you have multiple lines. So you can just type edit and put your SQL in here, and it'll execute. Could also do, you could also do this in Mongo. So I'm in Mongo, and if I say edit, and you have to specify a, a function or a variable. So let's say um, A. So A is undefined, so I can replace that with 12. And now if I do A, it'll say it's 12. You could also make that into a function too. So edit foo, and you can create a function. So here's the function, I can call it. Could 
could also use it in Postgres. So the same idea, except you use backslash e. And there you go.